Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table we're going to be talking about uh, the news that's just broken today about the Inspire One. Uh, but before we go any further we must have a beverage. This is the tradition on the channel and because it's been a bit of a fraught day or a couple of days for you if you've um, either bought or shelled out but haven't yet taken delivery of your two and a half thousand pound quadcopter I'm going to join you with a nervous steadying shot of Jack with some ice so cheers. Mm. Reusable ice cubes, I recommend them. So, Inspire One. Last couple of days, two or three days, there's been some um, worrying video um, appearing on YouTube of people having crashes with their Inspire One, which seem to have the same theme. I've seen two of them. One was in a, in a park, um, somebody shooting uh, with an iPhone while they, they, the other half was flying. Uh, and another one, which I'm gonna play for you up there, uh, which is the um, the one that's been I think most most people have now seen. It's gone a little bit viral of the guy who um, takes off and it hovers three feet in the air and then proceeds to try and break into the garage door. Um, now, there's also another one apparently doing the rounds that I haven't personally seen, but showing a very similar thing. Somebody's plowing into their car. Now, all of these things show the same the same sort of trend. The, 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 it takes off. It has a bit of a hover. It gets to about four feet and then suddenly leans over and heads for whatever it is that it crashes into. Um, now, when I saw the first one of them, my initial thought, I think, along with a lot of other people, was, ah, noob, compass calibration, you know, come on. Especially when I saw this one that we've been talking about with the with the, with the the crash into the house, because, you know, it's, it's, he's, on a, he's been near a driveway full of rebar. He's doing it in the middle of the street, which could have all sorts of, you know, drain covers and metal conduits and all sorts of bits and pieces. And... But the fact that there was more than one of them and the fact that in the description, uh, you know, this guy particularly has, you know, said he's had phantoms before and so he knows the drill. It, I didn't kind of publicly comment, but plenty of people did. Well, today um, over on RC groups, we've had a bit of a bit of an announcement from DJI. And I think this announcement is both a little bit of bad news, but I think it's a, a lot of good news and I'll explain why in a minute. So here's the announcement. Uh, and it's from um, it's from user ZTRCGP, who is uh, an official DJI support person from Shenzhen. Uh, and he said, there are two crash cases today and yesterday. Another case took off and fly forward into a car. And he's showing the one that we were talking about with the house. Uh, we have found out the cause of these cases. Not a pilot error. It is a bug relative to the IMU. We will release a safety guide on this. In general, check the IMU data, which the mod of the accelerometer should be about 1.00 with 0.01 tolerance, otherwise calibration needed. New firmware is under testing and will be released soon to fix the bug. Sorry for that. So I'm just going to let that sink in because to my knowledge, um, the reason why this is a really good piece of news is that to my knowledge this is the first time that DJI have ever used officially the word bug, um, acknowledged that there's an error uh, and apologized for it um, and I'm hoping that that you know maybe a corner has been turned because one of the things that people have often criticized them for is this kind of just silence when it comes to m m mistakes that have been made there's nobody re nothing no, there's no reference to it from DJI everybody knows there's a there's a bug or an error and then what happens is they they announce a new upgrade to the software uh, and nowhere in the release notes does it does it say bug fix or you know it's just and it gets on a lot of people's nerves and I think it does them it does them a disservice because people then start to get suspicious what they're hiding and so on and so forth. Hopefully, hopefully this is a sign that it's sunk in and they've acknowledged that there's a bit of a mistake. They've told us what it is now. People are now aware of what they can do and they're going to get a, a fix out to sort it out. So that is the good news. The slight downside is of course if you've got one of these already or you've lashed out two and a half grand uh, in pounds and on one um, then you might be a bit concerned but it looks like they've tied it down one of the nice things is that it looks like both the users involved in the crashes and DJI kind of reached out to each other they were DJI were able to get the logs from the aircraft the aircraft does a lot of logging uh, and, and they were able to analyze that data and very quickly tally them all up which is again good news the fact that they've built in the data logging and that the users can get to it and we can talk to DJI and 
So I'm really actually quite positive about the news. It doesn't look like it's a fatal for the for the Inspire. It just looks like something that they can they can fix. In the meantime, guys, as they say, be really careful. The fantastic thing about the Inspire one, as you saw from my video when I looked at the, the app, uh, which is down there if you haven't seen it, um, you can do all this from the app. There's no need to plug it in and bring your laptop with you. You can look on the app, go to the IMU, have a look, see what the settings are. And if you need to calibrate it, put it somewhere flat and calibrate it in the field. That's the really up, the good upside of this, the new system where everything can be done over the, over the app. So there we go. Um, just a bit of sort of breaking news that happened about four hours ago that that was posted. And this is the earliest I've been able to clear the kitchen table of stuff that should be on there and have my stuff on here. Um, so I hope that's been of interest to you if you've got a, an Inspire and um, for the rest of us who don't but who have got some DJI product and may want some in the future, um, I am really hopeful that this marks a change in the way that they will handle bugs and stuff like that. Because we all know everything that's technological has bugs, it's going to have bugs, it always will. Uh, I don't care who you are and, and how good you are, there's always gonna be something. And, and what we want is for people to just acknowledge it and go, hey, yeah, there's a bug, we're gonna fix it. In the meantime, here's the workaround and just be more transparent. So if that's what this leads to, then, um, then I'll drink to that. And uh, until next time on The Kitchen Table, cheers.